globally, more than 30 crore people currently live with hepatitis and it is estimated that a person dies every 30 seconds due to a viral hepatitis related cause. Despite availability of cheap testing, effective vaccines and medications, viral hepatitis continues to occur at an alarmingly high rate. Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arun Walson, consultant hepatologist and transplant physicians at Amrita Hospitals, Cochin. What causes viral hepatitis? Simply put, there are five major viruses that cause viral hepatitis named A through E. A and E causes short-lasting illnesses except in rare occasions. B, C and D on the other hand can cause long protracted illness and may eventually lead to liver cirrhosis and cancer. What are the symptoms of viral hepatitis? Some patients may feel feverish at the onset of illness. Most patients feel tired, have nausea, vomiting and decreased appetite, followed by uh, darkening of the eyes, urine and skin. Long-standing uh, patients who develop cirrhosis may have blood and vomitus, fluid accumulation in the legs and in the abdomen and a decrease in the sensorium. How can you diagnose viral hepatitis? If you have any of the aforementioned symptoms, you must consult your nearby physician or hepatologist and get yourself tested. A diagnosis can be really straightforward with a few tests including blood test and liver function test and an ultrasound abdomen in some cases. How is viral hepatitis transmitted? Hepatitis A and E is spread through the fecal oral route that is through contaminated unhygienic food and water. Hepatitis B and C spread through the blood bond route. It occurs in the setting of unsafe injection practices, especially among drug abusers, in unsafe, unprotected sexual intercourse and also as an occupational hazard in doctors, nurses and healthcare workers. Hepatitis D usually occurs in the setting of an already infected hepatitis B patient. How can you prevent and treat viral hepatitis? So there are a whole lot of simple steps that you can follow. First and the most important is to get tested and vaccinated especially against viral hepatitis A and B. You can avoid unhygienic contaminated water and food. Also one must refrain from IV drug abuse and, and unsafe unprotected sexual intercourse. Hepatitis B and C now have short term highly effective oral therapy which you can take at the comfort of your own home. In the setting of advanced liver disease, cirrhosis and cancer, one needs timely referral to a liver specialist and a transplant capable center for early listing for transplant. Now, we have safe, less invasive and effective therapy against liver cancer which can be availed at such advanced centers. So, let's not wait to get tested, vaccinated and treated. Thank you.